Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be doing my monthly makeup haul for the month of July. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, I do do this video every single month. Um, can I just warn you that this month was supposed to be a no buy? But if you're seeing this, that means she didn't succeed. <laughs> But if you guys like these kinds of videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you guys like this one, give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's just get started. I don't know why like, I'm obsessed with my vibe today. I am all about it. Just the glowing goddess, girl. The glowing goddess. Yes, honey. So we got lots to talk about. This month, I was supposed to spend $0.00. Last month, the month of June, I went crazy because, because of my birthday. And I just couldn't, I couldn't um, stop myself last month. So this month I was like, okay, restrain yourself. But the problem is that it kind of trickled over into this month. And so I didn't spend as much. Last month I spent about like $500. This month I only spent $210. <laughs> Not funny, okay. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to spend no dollars and I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm in a weird zone between like extremely excited with all these new goodies, but also like, girl, gotta get it together. So hopefully next month we can kind of reel it in a little bit. I won't do a no buy because I know I can't do a no buy, but I'll probably see like kind of put parameters on what I want. So first things first, first things I got this month, the first order I placed was for the new ColourPop Cherry collection. Now, this took so long to get to me. Like I literally ordered this so long ago and I still haven't used it because it took weeks to get to me. And I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of, here it is here. I feel like I'm kind of a stickler on, um, you know, shipping and stuff because like Sephora, they ship to you in a few days. Ulta doesn't take that long either. And then like a lot of places, they just don't take long anymore. But um, ColourPop still takes forever. And I know it's because there's so many products, but I don't know, I got this palette already and I think I'm gonna declutter it and see if someone will buy it off my Mercari because I don't want it anymore. I've had it for so long, I've gotten so many new things. It's kind of like, okay, this is old news. I don't need to keep it. And it's annoying because I ordered it so long ago because that's what I wanted at the time. And I know like, again, girl, and I wanted to do a video on it too, but it took so long that it was kind of like, okay, everyone and their mom did a video, so there's no point now, you know? So it was kind of like defeated the purpose of getting it in general. Um, and then I also will declutter out of this collection. I got two of this cheek, I, by the way, I bought the whole collection. Um, I bought, got two of the cheek dews, cheek dew serum blushes, and I just don't love this formula, so I kept the one that I obviously use, which is Sour Cherry, and I'm gonna get rid of Cherish You. I just don't love the formula, so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. I know, it's not a declutter, it's what I bought, but still. Um, and then I'll keep Sour Cherry here, which is a nice shade. And then these two, I didn't use both of them, but I kind of threw away the box for the one and I can't remember which one I used, so we'll keep uh, both for now. I have the shades Double Cherry and Love Bite. They're so cute and um, they're nice colors to have on hand because I don't have a lot of reds, so they're nice. And I do like that formula, it's kind of unique. It's very fun. And I do have all three liners, which I'm excited about. I haven't used either of the red, the pencil liners, but we have the shade Jubilee and Cherry Pie, which is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm excited to play around with those. And then I did use this. This is the ColourPop Liquid Liner in the shade Graceland. I really do like this as well. I do like these liquid liners too. I haven't tried it. So um, yes, I'm excited about that. Most of the stuff. I'm going to get rid of two products already. But um, then that I already had spent $44. 52 and I think that I bought this at the end of June, um, which I wrote July 1st on here, but usually I do that when I... Um, spend at the end of the month before. So um, next I placed an e.l.f. order. This is the one that I knew that I was going to do no matter what. I was just like, this is what I'm going to do. I said it in my last video. Um, e.l.f. came out with their Electric Mood collection, which was so freaking cute. They actually came out with a cream face palette. And it was kind of like, I need that in my life. Um, so I really like everything about this palette, except for this weird shade, highlighter shade. I don't know if you want to call it a highlighter there though. Um, the blushes are really nice. The bronze is really nice. I have not nearly used this as much as I should have. But I do really like it and I got to play around with it more. I'm really glad that I did pick this up. I also got the e.l.f. Electric Mood X somebody. Um, the Glassy Skin Balm. I'm wearing it today. Now, the first time I used it, this is only the second time I used it. The first time I used it, it kind of picked up some product underneath. But today, it looks so delicious on my face. So I'm excited, especially if this is a dupe for the Tower 28 one. Um, I will let you guys know because then you guys need it in your life if you're looking at the Tower 28 one. But um, I do really like that so far. 
Then I, I only spent $21.20 $21, $21, on the e.l.f. products. And my that was my, like, for last month, I was like, okay, can I give myself, like, maybe 25 bucks, And then that's probably just going to be the e.l.f. collection, and that's it. Well, here we are. <laughs> okay, then I placed the Sephora order. This is another one that kind of came out of nowhere, but I knew I needed it so, so, so bad. I've been wanting to try the Kaja, Kaja glass shots for so long, and um, it was like, okay, this was calling my name. They're two little babies, um, and they're so freaking cute. I'm wearing the shade um, 02 Milk Tea right now, and I'm freaking, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. The cutest duo out there. You guys need it if you want to try these little products. It was only 15 bucks. And yeah, I paid $15.90 for this. Like, come on. So freaking cute. I haven't stickered it yet, but they're so stunning. I needed them in my life. Then, um, I placed another order to Sephora, which I got the Sephora, uh, the, what is it called? Sephora Favorites Kit. I don't have the little pamphlet thing, the new Sephora Favorites Kit. So I got a setting spray in there. I got a little primer in there. I got, um, some cream products. I got the... Tarte Breezy Cream Blush, which I'm wearing today, and I freaking, I love it. It's so delicious. I love Tarte's cream formula. Oh my gosh, so bomb. So I got that. I also got the uh, Iconic London Sheer Bronze Bronzer, which I've been loving. Um, the Patrick Ta Sh Shaping wax, wax, which is probably the most used product out of this box, box, which is so like weird, but I love it. And I'm wearing it in my brows today because I love it that much. Um, so... Yes, and then they came with a mascara, which I'm wearing. Um, you saw me put on a little bit more earlier. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag. I do like it. It's not my favorite, but I like it. It looks nice. And then it came with this Ilia Balmy Gloss. It's a tinted lip oil in the shade Tahiti. I do like this, but it's not my favorite. Um, I think that was everything that came in that kit. Two, four, six, seven. I think that was everything. Oh, no, I forgot. I also got the Benefit Roller Lash um, Mascara. I'm sorry, eyeliner in the shade brown. I do like this as well. So that's really, really nice. I think there was only seven products in it. I just don't, I don't know how, I hope that's everything in there. <laughs> Usually I write it, but this was too much. Um, then I placed an Ulta order. I was, I needed it. Another product that I just like was came out of nowhere and it was kind of like, I just need it. It was the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I got the shade 02 Medium. I'm wearing it today. Um, someone kind of said like these are supposed to, they claim to work with your skin and tone. That's why they only have such few shades. But and as much as that's a gimmick, I feel like it's kind of true because to me, this shade is way too dark for me. But it never looks like that on my face. It kind of just melts into my face and it looks really nicely. Because it's so sheer, I think it works. So that's why I think it's nice. But... I really do love this and it's they said it's a do for the Charlotte Tilbury and that's what got me I was like I don't I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury and I've wanted to try it for so long so I was like kind of like I need this instead um so I got those but then I also saw oh my gosh Essence done did it to me because I was like Essence like I was like okay like that's it you know stop <laughs> but then Essence came out with these cute freaking eyeshadow palettes nobody was talking about them and I was like oh my gosh I need those in my life this is the taupe it up I've talked about it all week long because I just love these little palettes so freaking cute and then we have coral me maybe which was stunning and these were the first two that I picked up spoiler alert they're stunning they're amazing so spectacular really did it for me this month all right, and then, so then, at this point, we're at almost $150, basically. Just so you know where we're at in the budget. So it didn't end there. <laughs> um, next, I placed the Mercari order. Now, this one, I give myself kind of a little bit more leeway with Mercari because I use my credit on there. Um, I don't use, like, the money that's out of my account. This is the money I get back from the stuff that I sold. So it's kind of different. So that one, I was giving myself a little bit more leeway. But I did pick up the Jaclyn Translucent Setting Powder. Guys, I only used it once. Like, I, I just took it out of the box to use it today. And I really like it. I think my skin looks really good, really nice and set. I do think off the first impression, I do like my Kosas one better just because it's a little bit more lightweight. Um, this one doesn't feel like powder or anything like that. I just think it looks a little bit more powdery on the face versus the Kosas. But don't get me wrong, they're both like no powder. You know what I mean? Like, so I, if we're talking the most, the least powdery of every powder I've tried in my life, it's definitely Kosas and this one so far. But... Um, if we're talking out of the two, this one has a little bit more. So I don't know how to explain that, but it's not bad in any way. And I think my skin looks so freaking good and I'm excited to see. I have to still wear a mask at work. Um, and I know that a lot of the time my blush will be off by the end of the day. And the other day I was wearing, I was wearing, I think I was wearing a powder blush though. So I don't know. It was, it was it, either way. Um, it lasted really long. And so I want to see how this put this to the test <laughs> basically, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe this is in my hands. 
I need, I want to do a full face of like influencer brands, which I have a lot of the products so far. Like I have eyeshadow, highlighter, blush. I just need, I don't have a bronzer. I think that was the only thing. Bronzer is the only thing that I know influencers have right now that I watch my favorite influencers have right now. That is, um, that I don't have. I think that's what I was trying to say. I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, super excited. Um, that was 22, 26, but I used a credit. So I don't count that toward my total. Then we went to Walmart. Someone, I did my full face of essence. And someone was like, <laughs> someone was like, oh, you should do a full face of Profusion. And I was like, of course, of course. And Profusion is not expensive by any means. So it was really okay. For me, I was just like, whatever. And I do have a Profusion foundation or whatever. I have a couple products already from them that usually I don't have. So usually it takes a little bit longer for me to collect. So this was super easy. I went to Walmart and picked up a few things. I literally only paid $23.22. I didn't even pay like $25. That's how cheap it is. And I got four different products. So I got the uh, the Highlight and Contour 1 um, face palette from them. I really like this so far. I just used the highlighters, but they're so yummy and they're so delicious. And this is only five bucks. Oh my gosh, super, super excited. And then I also picked up the Blush One palette, which they didn't have very many options at the time. I usually see so many options, so I don't know what it was about this week particularly that Perfusion had nothing, but they weren't on sale or anything either because they're already so cheap, so I don't know. But um, I did pick this up and it was super, super nice. I literally, I went there and I didn't see any of their face palettes. And I was like, crap. And then there's these two laying down. So they kind of look like that. But they're the exact same size as their eyeshadow palettes. So I assume they are eyeshadow palettes at first. So like I walked away. I was like, whatever. Then I came back, looked again. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh. So then I got these two. So I'm going to keep playing around with them so that when I do my full face of perfusion, I kind of know what I'm saying and not just a full face of first impressions because it's a lot different. But anyway, I also picked up the Profusion Cosmetics Perfect Pout Soft Matte Lip Tint. Um, I have the shade Humble. I hate the shade that I picked. Oh my gosh. It's like freaking like... I don't know, disgusting. So I don't know, I have to play around with this more, but I like the formula, it's not bad, but it's nothing spectacular. And then I got a mascara that I have yet to use. It's the Lash Out Loud Length Volume and Lift Mascara. So I'm excited to try that one as well. I wanted to show you all as well. Um, I also did pick up the Perfusion Ju Juicy Lip Tint. Um, it's the Nourishing Lip Oil, and it doesn't see the shade on here. I don't think, but it's the pink one, the one that's more pink and juice and not juicy jazz. Um, Andrea Montalano loves this and she's been raving about it for a little bit now. And so I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to try that. And I do like it so far, but I put it in like my little um, lip balm little section so that it doesn't count as much in my collection, just so you know, just so we know. All right, then I placed another order to Ulta. Again, this was supposed to be my last final hurrah. And I was just like, all right, this is it. I just wanted the rest of the Essence, like, little freaking six-pan palettes because I love them so much. I fell in love with these two so fast that I was like, I need the rest. I need them so bad. Um, so then we got the Bronze This Way um, eyeshadow palette, which is so super cute. Oh, my gosh, so delicious. And then we got the Dancing Green. <laughs> also freaking stunning. I'm so excited to play with that one. Then we got Ice Ice Baby. So stunning. And then we have, I like to mob it, mob it. I like to mob it, mob it. So freaking stunning. I needed them and they were only like four bucks each. I paid, how much did I pay? $14.52. I think I did use like a gift card or something like that, but I only paid, I paid less than 15 bucks for these. Like, come on, honey. I forgot to mention too, for the Sephora favorites kit, I did use like my $10 off as well. So I got a little cheaper of a price. Not that it matters that much, but just so you know. All right, next is, so that was supposed to be it. Then I freaking am an idiot and I went to Target. I went Target, I went to Target specifically looking for the Wet n Wild Honey, the new collection. I haven't tried a lot from Wet n Wild um, new stuff and so I really wanted to, I kind of jumped over the SpongeBob collection. I got the sponges, but I didn't try too many products and just some of their collections I just wasn't obsessed with, but this one was super, super cute and they said it was at Target. So I was like, let me go peek at my Target. Usually my, Targets, my Ulta's, my uh, Walmart's, they don't get the stuff right away. Like, um, okay, so like usually my all my stores, they don't get anything like right away. They take a while. And so they, my Walmart just got the new um, Oma Beauty like stuff like recently, like 
like like a week ago or so where usually like for other people came out like a month or so ago so it took a while so i was like okay probably not gonna find it but let's go look well i found it and so i was kind of like let's do a video testing out all these new products so that will be coming soon i don't think it's too late for that one just because it didn't even drop on wet and wild website yet so i feel like i have a couple um weeks or so to kind of get that together so i just want to do again a simple first impression i wanted every, i wanted one product from every single collection yeah so i got the uh wet and wild in love with coco the pigment palette so this was the one i felt like i would use the most obviously out of the eyeshadows um and so i was like i kind of just need this in my life Ta -da! they have three what they say face shades. I don't know what that means, face shades, but there's no way that I'm putting a face brush in here. Anyway, but that was so exciting. It's so freaking cute. Um, so I got that from that collection. Then from the um, uh, cherry collection, I got the uh, My Cherry Amore face palette, which is the two blushes. They just look so delicious, and I cannot wait to use these in fall because they're going to be so scrumptious on the cheek cheeks. I just know it. Um, I did want to try like a Wet n Wild highlighter and the bronzer and stuff like that, but none of the little palettes look like both shades would work for my skin tone, so I was just kind of like, wah, wah. so we're going to try this one. And then from the Honey Collection, I did pick up the um, uh, lip kit, the uh, yeah, Honey Be My lip kit. Um, this was the one, only one that the lip liner I felt like would be nice on my skin tone. The other ones were a little bit too brown, and so I felt like I just wouldn't use them a lot, so I was like, this one looks cute. The lip gloss is probably just clear, so I'm excited honestly oh it says you'll be crushing hard over wet and wild's first ever lip kit <laughs> featuring an ultra shiny sheer lip gloss and matching creamy lip liner and glides on effortless way for juicy sumptuous lips comes in delicate uh delicable honey flavor you'll go crazy for which i'm a little nervous about um i don't know they picked interesting like things here like they have honey cocoa cherry and then passion which I was only gonna get one, but I ended up picking up two. And then I'll talk about another eyeshadow palette that I ended up picking up that I didn't need. <laughs> but I did get the Wet n Wild Passion Session Primer Serum, which is so cute. I didn't smell it in store because I hate when people do that. I work at TJ Maxx and I hate when people open things. And But it smells good. It's not that bad. So I was a little scared, but it doesn't smell super, super bad. I just felt like for me, honey, I wouldn't want on my face. Cocoa would be a little bit deceiving because I want it to be, I don't know, I don't know if I want it cocoa. And then cherry is very, very hit or miss where it gets that like nasty, like it gets too far, basically. And then I got the Passion Session um, facial spray, which I haven't used yet, but I love these wet and wild sprays. So um, basically that was it. Then I went back and I was like, but I really want this honey eyeshadow palette. It looks so yummy in the store and I know probably, I'll do a better when I do the video, but it looks so yummy and I just wanted to try it so bad. So I went back and picked this up. So I spent $38.15 um, with these products. They were, everything is $5, which is crazy. And yeah, so my total right now is 21038, which is a lot. But again, we'll do a video on some of these things. A lot of these things are for, you know, YouTube. And I feel like I'm seeing the, uh, I'm seeing the, oh my gosh, honey. Um, I feel like I'm seeing the results. I get new subscribers every single day and I'm very excited about it. I'm very happy. Like, I, you don't understand how happy I am. <laughs> um, and so I'm very excited to see, you know, where my channel goes. And so I feel like this is kind of like me, um, what is the word? I don't know what the word is, but like when I'm uh, like, I, what is that? What the heck is the word? Investing in myself, that's the word. Like, I feel like I'm investing myself and I'm very proud and excited to see where it takes me. So um, none of these feel like they're wasted purchases. I know I spend a lot of money, but I know that it's worth it. <laughs> I'm so excited about this powder. I don't know why it's so delicious to me. Anyway, I'm gonna go over my Ipsy products real quick. I did get another eyeshadow palette, which is like a lot this month. Um, and this is super, super cute. I could probably throw some of these products in, these eyeshadows in my crease, which will be super cute before I go to work. But I also got this bronzer palette, which is delicious. I love this bronzer palette. She's so cute. And then I got the Hip, Tot, Hip Dot Sun Goddess eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Stop, she's so beautiful. Le definitely lets me live the fantasy over and over again. Um, love that one and then I got a primer which I think I'm gonna declutter it's a coconut skin smoothing face primer moisturizer I just don't know if it's gonna work for my skin tone um, I also got the real hurl hurl real her girl power lipstick um, it's in the shade girl power but there's a lot in here but this is a nice shade it's very like my lips color then we got the shades by Shan Shan X what is it um 
honey peach and tangerine duo <laughs> it's so cute maybe i'll wear this today because i haven't worn this and then we got a koki eyeliner which was super super cute i haven't used it yet but i'm excited to use it so those are all the goodies that we got this month i know it's a lot of products for a no buy <laughs> Um, next month, I, I don't have specific things. I know next month I just want to basically buy one product from every category if I'm gonna, if I need to, if I want to. Um, I, I started that in the beginning of the year that I kind of fell off of that, but that's what I want. So like one eyeshadow palette, one primer, one foundation, that's it, um, no matter what it is. And so like, I know like I got like a lot of lip products this month. I got a lot of, um, eyeshadow palettes this month, which is obscene. So hopefully I can pull it back and kind of start there and then kind of work my way to you know less and less products every month so um yes that is it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it i don't have a quote yet i will put one in the end and i will see you in my next one bye guys